What is up? What is up? What is Mickey Vicky? Uh, y'all already know who it is. Urban Culture. Coming through with some more juice. Now we're just going to start off jumping straight into it saying thank y'all for being here. If you're new to it, welcome. If you're not new to it, you already know what we do here. We come here to give you some of that goodness so you can understand what's happening in the streets real quick. Uh, let's start it off with Gunna's brother scathingly reacting to Young Thug Shade. As y'all know, Young Thug is already out now. Congratulations. I'm hoping you're enjoying freedom. But um, there's been a couple feathers ruffled when he pulled an old tweet and delete and said, stop acting like we're friends on the Internet. I don't know you, my guy. This was, of course, allegedly shading Gunna, and he took it negatively. And here's what he had to say about it. Plainly and simply, trust and believe the feeling is mutual. Straight to the point. Now, this is just wild. I don't, I don't know where all this sparked from. Basically, what's happening? But it seems like there's definitely some, uh, some fades that's gonna have to get caught. But what do y'all think about this now that Young Thug and Gunna are, of course, at odds? They don't, they ain't fucking with each other. It just is what it is. He said the feelings mutual. I don't know what's happening. I have no idea what's happening. But what I do have an idea is somebody who typically that you see was about smoke all the time, Krishan Rock, delivering a heartfelt message after her emotional baptism. Whatever you do, don't lose the Lord. Lose everything, lose everyone. But don't lose the Lord. We cannot afford to lose the Lord. We cannot. Nothing replaces the Lord. Lose everything. So as you see on the caption, it says, Gracious God, today I rejoice in the promise of a new life that baptism symbolizes. Thank you for cleansing my heart and welcoming me into your family. As I rise from these waters, may I walk in the light of your spirit and grow in the love of Christ each day. Guide my steps, uphold me in faith, and help me to live out your truth in all I do. Amen. So definitely she is. It seems like she's trying to turn her life around straight up, trying to turn all that around because, you know, she's been through a lot. And, you know, the uh, you already know the precedence that usually follows Krishan. But it didn't just stop there. You actually got Carlissa Saffold surprising fans with her reaction to Krishan's baptism. And if you don't know who that is, that's, of course, Blueface's mama. She said. It might seem flip-flopping, but I ain't going to deny her if she joined my father's hood today. Y'all want me to hate her so bad. She gave her life to Christ today, and I didn't see him strike her with lightning. Everything I hated about her was left in the water because I know what my father in heaven can do. To God be the glory. So she is, of course, 100% backing Christian with giving her life to God and I rock with it I rock with it if those are bridges that can be mended and of course fixed all from this just that turn of faith which I, I think this is actually a very big thing for her to do and it's going to be even bigger to pull off as far as uh you know sticking to what it requires from you as a person uh best of luck I hope it all turns out well for you but what y'all think what y'all think out there y'all think it's just a ploy I don't I feel like she's actually trying to do that right now. There's a lot of drama and she's trying to get through that. Man. We get through that drama. Man. But let's just jump into something else. Let's switch gears. We got Trick Daddy as he explains why he doesn't identify as African American. Check this shit out. I'm trying to figure out how Afro get in front of my motherfucking race. I ain't never been to Afro color. I never been to Africa. Afro or Afro. Never been there. 
I'm not from Africa. I'm born and raised in Goose, Florida. I'm a born and Goose, raised in Liberty City in the Polka Bean Project. I ain't never went to Africa. I ain't think about going there. And I heard it's a beautiful place. Yeah. And I know it's the motherland. Yes. But not my mother, not her mother, and not her mother's mother. That ain't their land. America's real true land is right here in the U.S. soils. He was definitely spitting, but not like, not like life-changing spitting. But I feel him. I feel him. I don't know why now I got Afro in front of my American, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I guess that could be just that divisive language that we all need or 100%. He's just like, nah, nigga. I'm just American. I'm a black American. But how do y'all feel about that? I know that's a touchy subject. You know, you got how people look at us like how Africans look at us here. And, you know, they <laughs> look at <laughs> Africans in real Africa. Look at us uh, African Americans. Like we the lowest totem pole. Nah, I'm playing. I don't. I don't know what they do. I don't know how we get looked at. Don't even. Don't hold me to that. Do not hold me to that. But what y'all think about that? Do y'all think there's some some? There's a lot more information that needs to get fleshed out. That we got to dig 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 in deeper, just a little bit more. Or do y'all think it's just a pointless conversation? And just in case, either or, we're gonna shift gears to somebody. This is actually really surprising. You have Fifty Cent. As he thinks Ray J needs to chill out after his late, latest Diddy rant. That's kind of crazy to me to know that 50 Cent, if 50 Cent got to tell you to chill out with how much like trolling that man be doing, that you doing, you need to step the fuck back. If you agree with me on that one, let me know because I feel like 50 be doing so much damn trolling. So if he telling somebody else to chill, you might be pushing shit a little bit too far because that nigga be pushing the shit out them boundaries. But check this out. Because, you know, they saying that people at the church doing it. So now I can't turn cheek to cheek when somebody hit me because now I'm thinking about butt cheeks. You know, it's, it, it, you know, yeah. it's like, it's a lot. It's a lot. And it's just not adding up to me. And I think. What <laughs> <laughs> I tried to, I tried to top that up. Pause. Oh, my God. I tried to hype that up. But of course, it's something so simple. You know, 50 going to be trolling. But that bad Ray J, he said he just be thinking about butt cheeks. Dog, if you at church, stop thinking about, I mean, some of the, if you at church, y'all don't need to be thinking about no butt cheeks. Start praying. You know what the hell he was talking about. This man, Ray J. I ain't gonna, you know what? Far be it from me. Far be it. What? How does that even saying go? Far be it from me. There we go. Far be it from me that I'm just gonna sit here. Be a little hoe ass nigga with a companion Knowing that he got way more money than I ever had That shit crazy That shit crazy But speaking about Diddy Although the last one was about his rant uh, A rant about Diddy um, His former bodyguard Sues the grape accuser For defamation Crazy sauce Check this out So what okay. we Okay. What we got here, this is the official docket report of what we just filed. As you can see, it's dated 8.01 p.m. on November 7, 2024. This is your, your new court uh, docket number, okay? You can see that Darnell D. Crossan is your lawyer right here, representing plaintiff Joe Sherman. All right, all these are the defendants that you are uh, demanding money from. And it's money made. That's right, remember I said docket number one is your complaint? Right. There's a description of it, and of course, there's docket number one, all right? Yes, sir, thank you. So, sir, this is a courtesy copy of everything for you. It was filed on your behalf. See my lawyer, see my lawyer, did they cross me out? You ain't see the other police? This shit right up in here. The Black Pack. <laughs> Long live King Trump. Amen. <laughs> he said the Black So, basically, on Thursday, November 7th, Sherman... Diddy's former bodyguard, sorry, Joseph Sherman, um, sued an accuser, Talia Graves, and her attorneys, including Gloria Allred. The suit claims that Graves made outrageous, disgusting, and life-altering statements and publishing without any regard for the truth. In her lawsuit against Diddy and Sherman, which was filed in September, if y'all remember that one, uh, Joseph Sherman has never met Talia Graves, let alone graped her, as it says inside of the suit. 
One of the suit's main points is that Sherman could not have been involved since he stopped working for Diddy in 1999, two years before the alleged assault that Graves recounts in her suit. And he says he was persona non grata at Bad Boy, not even allowed on the premises because he left work for rival Def Jam. It's wild enough that you got these issues going on. You know what I'm saying? That people are actually out here doing stuff. But it's even crazier when you have something that so wildly accused you so confidently and you weren't even around for what they accused you for. But what do y'all think about this? Y'all think this is something that, you know, granted, they need to pay that shit up ASAP. Ain't no way for them to win. Ain't no way for them to get something. What do y'all think this is something that is used just as a scare tactic to stop people from the lawsuit? Personally, I'm glad he coming back at her. I think that's necessary. Because if it's something where you obviously lying and somebody's freedom's at stake, yeah, we're going to have to come back for that one. We're going to have to run them ones. But on another note, Jaguar Wright's son hits her with some shocking new allegations in the Tasha K interview. Check this out right now. As they say, hate the sin, not the sinner. Mm -hmm. And over this year and a half, I realized all the wrongs that my mother has struck upon me and has tried to do with me. To an all-encompassing degree, she's attempted to use me as a pawn, a weapon and shield against those whom she hates, including her own family, for her own purposes, to manifest her ideal reality into real life. And that is to be the hit star that she never was. Oh. Or at least the hit star that she tried to be, oh. but was stolen away from her when those in a higher position used her as a sacrifice. What do you mean a sacrifice? I heard this from a member of my family, okay. an aunt who I keep in contact with, and I'm pretty sure you can c connect the dots to who I'm talking about. Okay. Basically, my mother's career started in rap. She didn't see the light in it okay. at the time. Right. And frankly, she was probably striking out in it too early, didn't see the confidence in it, and probably was seeing the confidence in it when artists like, say, Mickey Minaj got on board. Okay. So she broke into singing, and she was doing really well at it too. She had the angelical voice gifted by God himself. However, the group that she was with at the time, The Roots, they saw her as a good artist. But they also saw her as the perfect scapegoat to get away with whatever they, they were doing at the time. Okay. Whatever that was, I cannot say. I'm not in the situation myself. But they used her as a sacrificial lamb. And that blood spilt from the lamb is basically where all of that hatred stews. Oh, okay. So, it, it was, okay. I get you. I get you now. Not going to lie, bringing this out like this is wild just in the middle of the show i mean a lot of people do it now with the age of technology but that's wild even more with you know some of the stuff he's saying in there again it's just it's just extremely wild to me i feel like even as i hear it more and more and he starts explaining things it's, i get a little irritated just because i feel like i'm reading it like there's some things he's definitely decorating Granted, I didn't experience it myself and I wasn't there, so I can't really say too much shit about it. It's just I get that feeling when I watch him talk like, bro, it did not happen this way. I just it just automatically disbelief. But, you know, then again, I don't know this nigga. He could just that could just be how he feels about it so deeply. Who knows? But what do you think? I'm going to turn that over to y'all. You know, let me know what y'all feel about this situation would you have spoken about this on a podcast if they would have gave you 10,000 20,000 500,000 views would you have just left it alone period because you don't talk about personal business out there in the public or like what you know what y'all think y'all think this still some cloud chasing shit y'all let me know and as I said earlier you new to the channel thank you for being here I hope you like comment share and subscribe if you're a return viewer, thank you so much for returning up on that thing. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, share, and find out if this motherfucker over here lying about Jaguar, right? You know what I'm saying? Let us know if he lying. I want to know the truth, but I don't need to because y'all...
urban culture. Hit saying, peace. I let that mug hold for a little bit.